All right, so we have a special guest with us today that some of you are going to recognize from robotics last year and maybe from some other activities you might have done, and that's Mr. Sam Cole, and he's from 4-H in Anson County, and he is going to be kind of showing us a science activity today um, about the phases of the moon, and it's a really fun activity because at the end you get to eat it. So, Sam, I'll let you go ahead, and um, also if you want to share anything about 4-H and any upcoming programs after you after you did the lesson, that's that's great. I know our students would like to hear that as well. Yeah, I don't know what 4-H is. You should do it. But, all right. Well, we'll we will definitely get to what 4-H is. And you know what? I'm not too upset because when I was growing up, I didn't know about 4-H either. It wasn't until I became a 4-H agent that I actually figured out what it was and and everything that entailed. But we'll talk about that a little bit um later. Thank you, Mr. Jones, for having me on today. It is my pleasure to uh, to be in and to help uh, co-teach this class with him. I, I enjoy being around the youngins. Y'all help keep me young. So um, with that being said, I am Mr. Cole, and I am the Anson County Forge agent. Um, thank you, Mr. Jones, for inviting me out this morning. Today, we're going to be talking about the phases of the moon. So uh, Mr. Jones already gave you the instructions on about the kits and stuff you have. Um, if you got your kits, let me see your kits. What you got? Let me, let me see. Yeah, all right. I see some, some, um, some knives, the soft kind boxes. All right, some Oreos. Good. All right. So, um, Mr. Jones, I will need your help just a little bit for this, um, because my screen, I see like a bunch of people, and just so I can keep my eyes on everybody, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick this off with a joke. All right. You can't, you, you, you can't talk about the moon and the phases and not start off with a good joke. So. I'm going to ask, I'm going to give the joke, and Mr. Jones, if you could, if you could watch and see maybe um, somebody's hand, if they know the answer. Um, okay. So, all right, so this is just to make sure everybody's awake. All right, so this is my joke. <laughs> all right, so what, what dance do you see in the night sky? What dance can you see in the night sky? What dance? Caleb. The moonwalk. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully everybody got it, all right? Because we are talking about phases of the moon. So the dance in the in the in the sky is gonna be our moonwalk. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, um I have one more question just to kind of see. Um, I know some of y'all are, are scientists, you know, you probably watch the National Geographic, so you may have you know like a, a fun YouTube series you like to watch? Um, how many? Just off the top of anybody's head, does anybody know how many phases of the moon that there are? Eight. That was quick. All right, cool. So he knows that we great. So you have you may have a, a somewhat of a small background in um in the phases of the moon. So if you do, that's great. For for anyone who doesn't know, we're gonna we're gonna learn today, and anybody who may know the phases, we're gonna reinforce it. All right, so. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull out one Oreo. And now the goal, the goal is going to be to use as few Oreos as possible. Now, I've already pulled out about 10 just because I think I'm going to probably, you know, use that many. Um, and I think depending on where you start in the phases, you could probably use more or less. But I'm going to actually start with the new moon. So it's just a plain Oreo. Right. So we got our first first and you can take your Oreo you can split it and if you do it just right now I didn't do it right so one side is leaking right so what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to scrape off all of the white filling as best you can and this is gonna represent our new moon All right, so this is our easiest one to uh, to kind of put together because you scrape it all off, all right? And so the way the new moon works, it, le it looks like there's no moon at all. And that's kind of a play on words, a new moon. It's so brand new, it's not there, right? <laughs> um, but the way the new moon works, um, if you know about the positioning of the earth and the sun and the moon, um, think about when you're walking around outside in the sun, right? And you walk in and you see your shadow. 
And that comes from the, the position of the moon being behind, well, in front of the sun. And so as the sun shines on the moon, you can't see anything but a shadow. And so from that, from that positioning, you get this, nothing. It looks like nothing there. That makes sense to everybody? If so, give me a head nod. All right, still don't eat your cookie though. All right, so that's our new moon. All right, so our next phase, and I'm actually gonna use, because again, we're trying to, re to reserve cookies. We don't wanna use, you know, we don't wanna waste our cookies, right? Um, so we're gonna take our, our other half, and the next phase of the moon is gonna be our waxing crescent. Now, if I want you to pay attention to the word waxing, because that's gonna be important um, going forward. So waxing means to grow. And so this phase of the moon is gonna be, you're gonna take most of it off, and I'll show it to you a little later, but you're gonna scrape most of it off. And you're gonna be left with like a little, a little thin sliver of the moon. So you scrape off, leave just a tiny little slice. And it should look a little bit like this. All right. And again, this is gonna be our waxing crescent. And you know, it pretty much explains itself. It looks, I try to make mine look kind of like a crescent. That's about as good as I could get it. And it's waxing because it's growing. Because remember the previous phase was a new moon. It looked like it wasn't there. So at this point we're starting to grow a little bit. And this is the first phase the next phase after the new moon. All right, hold your cookies up. Let me see them. Let me see these waxing crescents. Looks good, looks good. Awesome, awesome. Great job, guys. All right, so again, so technically we're still growing. I'm gonna have to, use, I'm gonna have to pop open another cookie, y'all. So we're still growing. And so we're still in the waxing phase. And this next phase is gonna be called the waxing half or the first quarter. And generally what I do is I just take half of the cream and I'm gonna take half of it off, all right? And it'll look a little like this. All right, so again, this is gonna be our waxing half. The half is pretty much self-explanatory. We got half of a, of a moon up and it's waxing. So that means we're still growing. So it's just, it's bigger than the previous stage, right? And it is also known as the first quarter. So remember first quarter waxing half. All right, let me see your, let me see your, your waxing halves, your first quarters. Let me see them. Good job. Y'all are doing a great job. And to my, and as far as I can see, nobody's eating any cookies yet. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to have to, for the next stage, I'm going to have to pop another cookie open because this, remember, we're still growing. And like I said, if I had worked it out maybe a little better, if I had done it backwards, we could have did it where if we were using, take, taking chunks away, but I wanted to do it my way. <laughs> So we're starting to, we're still growing in our next stage. Now this is the stage before we are a full moon, all right? Before we fully complete, this is the stage in between the waxing half, remember that's halfway, and then we have the waxing gibbous. Again, we're still growing and we're almost to the point where we're a full moon, but not quite. But we're going to just take a little, a little smudge off and it'll look a little like that. Good job. And that's gonna be our waxing gibbous. If you notice, like I mentioned before, we're almost to the point where it's almost full, but not quite. Good job, good job. Looking good, looking good. All right. Now we have our next phase. And again, guys, I'm gonna have to use another cookie. Now, I'm going to have to be real careful for this one because I need it to stick. All right, so everybody be really careful. You're going to need all of your cream on one side. 
Oh, I messed it up, guys. <laughs> I messed it up. I'm going to use another one. <laughs> How many cookies does it, do you have to use before you get the full moon? Let's see. You can get the part that fell off and stick your bags on there and kind of like smooth it out. That's what I did with the um the half moon. I think that's Look. what I'm going to have to do, too. Cause these are sticking really good. Let's see. Ah, all right. Well, I, got it hold, I want y'all to hold y'all's cookies up. I want to see who had the who pulled it off perfectly because I couldn't. See, I'm gonna have to manufacture mine a little bit, put some more filling on it. I couldn't either. So I wasn't the only one. Okay, cool. I couldn't either. All right. So now I got to get messy a little bit and use my fingers and fill in my moon. I'm just making it worse trying to smooth it out. Me too. <laughs> Gotta hit your knife and like kind of push down. A picture, little. picture. Yeah, this is where you're gonna have to use your tools and and all that good stuff. Okay, good, 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 So that was the best. That's as best as I can get it. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see if anybody pulled theirs off perfectly. Cause that is I a oh, Mr. Jones got his all perfectly. I couldn't <laughs> I uh, make a every form. single time that I did it that I didn't need to make it perfect. I did it perfect. I'm the except same for way. this one time. The first two before this, when I had to come out perfectly, but now when I need I it, that one. I messed up, so I just cut mine and made a way. Oh, got one more left. Oh man, cause cause I I figured you you all were gonna run out of cookies soon. So, all right. Um. All right, so this is a full moon, so we're going to have to work our way backwards using this one. So just make sure this one is full. Yes, I got it. All right, looking good, everybody, looking good. Yep. And like we said, this is just a full moon, and kind of like the opposite of the new moon, the sun is positioned on the other side. And so instead of having a shadow this time, you can actually see the moon, and that's why it looks full. Cool thing about the, you know, you may have heard about the full moon, you know, they... They say that's when the werewolves come out. So um, interesting. I won't say interesting fact, but uh, that's something that they believed. Well, some people still believe. <laughs> now I think that's only in um, Vampire Diaries. Yeah, some people still believe it. Though. I'm tired I'm... of Vampire Diaries. All some right. Let me clean my hands off a little bit. And make sure, you know, it's okay if you have a question about what we're doing or comment about what we're doing, but make sure any conversations on topic, and make sure you're not just talking for the sake of talk. All right. Thank you. All right. All right. So moving on. So everybody's got their full moon. And now we're to the point where we're going to work our way down to the, on the other end. So, so hold up your full moons and like we were talking about during the first four, uh, we talked about the waxing aspect. Now, now we're going to go from waxing to waning. And waning just means that we're shrinking or getting smaller, right? So, yep. so we're going to scrape off just a little smidge. And we're going to go from the full moon to a, this is a waning gibbous. All right, so we took a little chunk off, and now we've got the waning gibbous. So it's not quite a full moon, and like I said, we're shrinking. So let me see your Oreos, the waning gibbous. Looking good, looking good. Looking good, all right. Good job. All right. So this, is, this cookie right here is going to take us home, y'all. All right, so the next phase we have is the waning half or the last quarter. Now this is, we're gonna, we're gonna clean this one off about halfway. And again, this is gonna represent our waning half or our last quarter. I probably took a bit much off, but if you can get about Kobe's, your look, yours looks really good. Halfway, yours too, um, Mr. Wilson. Yeah, those look good. So about halfway. I think I took a, a bit much off of mine, but I don't want to put. I, let me see if I can add it back on. All 
There we go. So about half. This is as much that we had to take off. So you could probably you could probably left just a little bit more on there, about halfway. But you kind of get the point. Yeah, you you kind of get the point. And at this point is it's, it might be a bit a bit much to try and add it back on. So, but yeah, about halfway. And that's gonna be our, go ahead. Somebody had a question. Yeah, that looks good, Davis. All right, so um, our next phase is going to be our waning crescent. And again, we're disappearing, so we're going to take off a nice chunk. And it's going to be a little sliver of the moon. And remember, it's going to look kind of like a crescent. Looks good. Y'all are doing a really good job with these. Looking good, looking good. Why are we so good at it? We did it in third grade. Oh, so y'all are pros at this then. Y'all could have showed me how to do this. <laughs> I'm not a pro, but my... What's it called? Um... Right. I accidentally right. ate one of the cookies in third grade. I ate <laughs> grade before I was supposed to. I was done. I I'm didn't not know. Oh. I'm not good, but at least I can make an Oreo mug shot with the Oreos I wasted. All right. So this is our waning crescent. And that was the last phase. And if you scrape it all off, we start all the way back over to our new moon. Good job, our new moon. And so we have completed the phases of the moon. All right, so we started off with the new moon, which was here. And then remember, just the, the, the using the terminology, the word uh, waxing, that means we're growing. So we following the new moon, we had the waxing crescent, which was a small sliver. And then we went to the waxing half. Uh, yeah, the waxing half for the first quarter. So full everything. Which was which was about a halfway, and then we went to the gibbous waxing, waxing gibbous, which was a, almost a full a full moon, not quite. Then we had the full moon, which was completely filled in, and once we get to that big part, we start shrinking and we go down to the waning gibbous, the waning half, and then we end with the waning crescent, and then like I said, we start over. All right, so 